John, do you see that as a point gained or two dropped? Well, I mean, at the start of the day, you probably would have taken a point. Come to the league leaders, uh, they're unbeaten this season, as we are, of course, in the league. Um, but, you know, when they blew for the 90 minutes, you feel a little bit uh, disappointed because in the last two, you know, the last five minutes, we've hit the bar um, and, and not put away the rebound, and then we've hit the bar again and, and not finished an even easier uh, rebound. So, a little bit disappointed, I suppose, at the end of the day, but it's a, it's a good point. There's no two ways about that. It's a good point against a good side. Um, went ahead twice in the first half, but just couldn't quite hold on to the leads. And, and as you mentioned, it looks so much like we could have just snuck it at the end. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we talked at half time about game management. Um, you know that we, we we scored and then let them back into the game very quickly, very quickly on on both occasions. Um, and you know, with with probably a minute to go before half time, they scored basically from a breakaway from our free kick, where we thought we could have managed that better. We talked about that, but. You know, as we keep saying, it's a young team. It's a it's a team that's just been it's been put together at the start of this season. I don't think there's any of the original team from last year left at the club. A um, couple of the juniors, a couple of the youth team players uh, coming through. But but um, so at the end of the day, you know, it was uh, it, it was a it was a, a a good point. That's all I can say. Disappointed to concede the two goals the way we did, but um, we'll take we'll take the point. I think today. But equally, he had a little bit of pressure in the second half late on, but decent defending, and, and Adam wasn't really called upon bar one save from a corner. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, he made that save in the first, uh, didn't he? In the first couple of minutes, yeah. when the the cross into the middle, and he did very well to spread himself. Um, yeah, I thought we defended. I thought we defended well today. Certainly, second half. Um, you know, the boy uh, Col Colburn came on second half, and and he's lively and his movement's good, uh, and he's quick. So I thought the defenders. You know, they had the hands full, but but I thought they, they caught very very well. Would you say that's possibly the best performance so far? Um, yes, I, I would. I would think so. We we sort of started to look more cohesive as a un unit today. Um, you know, as opposed to uh, to previous matches. So, you know, the, the I suppose that you know the, the the light at the end of the tunnel is, is starting to show that we're starting to come together a, 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 as a team, and, and there is there is you know there is certainly signs of us of us becoming a good side. And the next step towards that light is on, on Saturday away at Chelmsley, the three G pitch. What sort of a difference will that make? Um, well, it shouldn't make too much because we train on 3G, so I think it'll suit us. You know, we like to pass the ball and we like to get it down and, and, and play um, on a couple of the pitches so far this season. You know, we haven't been able to do that, um, as, as you're aware. I won't mention any clubs in particular, but, uh, you know, the surfaces have been, have suffered because of the long, hot summer we've had, I think is the easiest way of putting it down. So I think uh, the 3G, where we're going to get a, a, the ball's going to run through, we're going to get a true bounce. I, I honestly think that will suit us, to be fair. Cheers, John. Thank you very much.